Hi there, in the following video I will show you how to answer question 3 of the June 2008 Core 4 OCR A level paper. Again, this is a question on implicit differentiation and it's my third video on that. Let's take a look. It's question 3 and it's an 8 mark question. It defines a curve implicitly for you as follows and it asks you to show that the gradient function is uh, this um, this expression here. Okay, well, let's do it step by step. Okay, I'm going to differentiate everything. I'm going to differentiate with respect to x. It's important to write down what you're doing. So, I'm going to differentiate each item with respect to x. I'm going to differentiate x squared y, and I'm going to differentiate with respect to x. I'm going to do x y squared, um, and I'm going to see what I get. I'm going to think of this as a product rule where that's u, that's v, and here that's u and that's v. And I know by the product rule that the differential of uv is uv dash plus v u dash. Okay? So I'm going to differentiate, so I'm going to take my, I'm going to have u, which is x squared, and I'm going to differentiate uh, with respect to x this y. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the, the v or the y and I'm going to differentiate x squared with respect to x, which is 2x. Okay, and let's just tidy that up. Um, if I differentiate y with respect to x, I just get dy by dx. So this is x squared dy by dx. And this is just 2 lots of xy, tidying that up, 2 lots of xy. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here. Uh, I'm going to have my u, which is x, and I'm going to differentiate the y squared with respect to uh, x. And then I'm going to have y squared, and the differential of x is 1. Okay. Now, if I want to differentiate this with respect to x, I can differentiate it with respect to y, and then multiply by dy over dx. So just to state that clearly, I would do... I would take the differential with respect to y of y squared and post multiply by dy by dx to correct, and I have plus y squared. Okay. Now, what is the differential with respect to y of y squared? Well, it's 2y, so this would be 2xy dy by dx plus y squared. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, subtract these differentials and it will give me the answer 0 because the differential of 2 is 0. So I'm going to get the following. I'm going to get x squared dy by dx plus 2xy and I'm going to take away the whole lot of this. So I'm going to take away 2xy dy by dx plus y squared and I'm going to get the differential of 2 which is 0. Okay. Now I'm going to factorise out a dy by dx here all in one go. Take out a dy by dx. I've got x squared dy by dx, and I've got minus 2xy. Okay, and I've got a leftover of plus 2xy and minus y squared. And all of that is equal to zero. Tidying up now, um, adding y squared to both sides and subtracting 2xy from both sides, I will get dy by dx, uh, x squared minus 2xy, is equal to y squared minus 2xy and dividing by x squared minus 2xy I get as required that dy by dx is y squared minus 2xy all divided by x squared minus 2xy and we're done we have shown part one as required for our three marks okay part 2a says assume dy by dx is zero so this here is zero i.e. that 0 is equal to y squared minus 2xy, all divided by x squared minus 2xy. If I multiplied both sides by x squared minus 2xy, I would get 0 multiplied by this is just 0, and I would get on this side y squared minus 2xy. And factorising out the y here, I would get y minus 2x is equal to 0. Now that tells me either y is 0, or y is 2x. Now y can't be 0 if you look at the original equation. If that was 0 and that was 0, this whole thing would be 0, which is not equal to 2. 
So that's not one of our solutions, so we ignore this one. And as required, uh, y must be equal to 2x, okay? Okay, lastly now, we're on uh, part B. It says, hence, find the coordinates on the curve where the tangent is parallel to the x-axis. Okay, now, the tangent parallel to the x-axis, uh, if you've got a curve, just think about it. If the tangent is parallel to the x-axis, it's effectively telling you that the gradient is zero, Okay, dy by dx, the gradient function at that point is zero. Okay, so we've already shown that at, uh, if dy by dx is zero, okay, then y must equal 2x. But we also know um, that the tangent touches the curve, so in particular, the curve, the equation of the curve is satisfied. Okay, so we've got two equations here. We know that y must equal 2x. And on the other hand, we know that um, the point is on the curve. So x and y must satisfy uh, the equation of the curve. OK, now we try and solve these simultaneously and do it by substitution. Put 1, put equation 1 in equation 2. Where you see y, put 2x instead. So we've got x squared, put 2x instead of y, minus x, and this would be 2x all squared is equal to 2. OK, tidy up. x squared times 2x is 2x cubed. And 2x all squared is 4x squared times x. So it would be minus 4x cubed is equal to 2. OK, now tidy this up. This would be minus 2x cubed is equal to 2. Divide both sides by minus 2. So x cubed must be minus 1. And if x cubed is minus 1, then x must be minus 1, and substituting back into, say, equation 1, it tells us that y is equal to minus 2. So the coordinates we're looking for are minus 1, minus 2. I hope you found uh, the answer to that question useful in your revision for implicit differentiation for core 4. Thanks for listening.